Nebraska is home to thousands of plants. A few deserve a closer look because of undesirable, poisonous effects on people and pets. The first and most common is poison ivy. The oil in the leaves and other succulent plant parts can cause a reaction. Touching poison ivy with unprotected hands, arms, or feet, as well as vaporization of the oils through the air on warm and windy days can cause reactions in varying degrees. Some people are hardly affected at all, while others develop rashes or boils simply from being near the plant. Most cases are somewhere in between. Touching the leaves causes swelling and painful or itchy skin rashes. Some plants, such as Boston Ivy, Virginia Creeper, Jack in the Pulpit, and even raspberries may look similar to poison ivy and may be confused with it. Looking closely at the photos of each will help you to distinguish them from each other. Poison ivy has leaflets in groups of three, often with a glossy sheen. The plant may be a low-growing plant, about one to two feet high, or may even be a vine. An overlooked but just as potentially harmful plant is stinging nettle. The stems of nettle plants are covered with many spines that can cause a burning sensation in some and a severe itching in others. Some unfortunate people experience both symptoms. Unfortunately, some members of the mint family look similar to nettles, so proper identification is important. Stinging nettle can grow four to five feet tall and is found on low moist ground such as ditches, stream banks, vacant lots, and ravines. Poison hemlock is a perennial found across the U.S. Plants can be six feet tall or more and have smooth, hollow stems covered with purple spots. Leaves look delicate and lacy, resembling parsley or carrot leaves. The plant grows on fertile, moist soils such as along streams, fence rows, roadside ditches, and woodlots. The plant is poisonous when eaten. According to the U.S. Forest Service, all plant parts are poisonous. However, the seeds contain the highest concentration of poison. Poison hemlock contains highly poisonous alkaloids toxic to all classes of livestock and humans. After working around poison hemlock, be sure to wash your hands, especially before eating. Property owners who have lived on the west coast may have experienced the itching side effects of touching poison oak, but fortunately it's rarely if ever found in Nebraska. Keep an eye out for poison ivy and stinging nettle because of skin contact, while poison hemlock is a problem if eaten. Contact your extension office for ideas on how to manage any of these weeds. This program was written by John Fesch and narrated by Jan Hingstrom, both of the University of Nebraska Extension.